got your fortune, Red? You give me five dollar, I give you secret Chinese enlightenment. Only stupid person not want to know future. Ah, sure, yeah, I tell you all. Five dollar. You going to go to a fancy restaurant. You going to order snails. Don't eat them! That's disgusting! Snail very dirty. Your fortune? Next time you get on plane, change seat to exit row. This makes sure you not sit next to big fat ass. Your fortune? One year from this day, you're going to get mysterious package. Don't open! Music club will own your ass then! Your fortune? That guy you work with? Yeah, he take all credit for your idea. Your fortune? One year from this day, you're going to get mysterious package. Don't open! Welcome, kindred, and thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? I'm sorry? I'm not sure I heard you correctly. Oh, what wretched strain of King's curse is this? Indeed it does, kindred. But let us speak of other things. How might I assist you? Ah, that is right. Your kind drinks solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. We are called the Kuei Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. <laughs> no, we are not simply some exotic canine bloodline. We are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. Oh no, dear kindred. You misunderstand me. I mean no disrespect. No, we do not choose, but events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. 
The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. No. Quajin do not rise after the second breath, with an awareness of their condition. The road to enlightenment is always long and arduous. Many Quajin die a final death before they realize what has become of them. What can I help you with? There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. Yes? <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We share superficial similarities. Quajian feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. Yes? The second breath are... No, we do not choose. The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin. What can I help you with? There is my Humans, what is it you would like to know? In our homeland, man and supernatural live in uneasy harmony. Our mortals see spirituality in all things, and our existence is taken for granted. An open secret is the easiest to keep. We do, in fact. Our purpose is to seek transcendence. Interfering in mortals' lives, or their interference in Quajian unlives, detracts from this pursuit. My purpose touches many lives. Such is my path. We Quajin do not claim majesty over mortals as kindred do. Whether as bestial lords or shadowy puppet masters, you all delight in your superiority over naturally weaker creatures. I mean it in the most practical sense. Does the parent show the child contempt by protecting it? To help those weaker than oneself is a tenet of my order. The mortals of our domain are blessedly humble, simple, and content to avoid supernatural attention, which is more than can be said for Western stock. Were we not all human at one point? It is not obvious, kindred, that mortality is not the end. Is it then not unreasonable to think that further existences lie beyond? That we are all simply transforming? This is what we seek, or at least as best as I can explain it to you. No, I am sorry if my words are sharp. Such are our ways. You must understand, Kindred. 
Though I show you hospitality now, our two peoples are not at peace. Really? Can Kindred claim any ancestral homeland on the western coast of America? I think not. New is the arrival of Kindred and Quajin alike. Who then is the invader? Things change. Alliances shift. And people are not always what they seem. Remember that, Kindred. What can I help you with? So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. What can I help you with? There is... Yes? I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin Domain. For now, may you find your path, Kindred.